Hello and welcome to SourceCAD. In this video, I'll make a simple 3D practice drawing. And for that, I'll use a simple component as shown on your screen right now. So for that, make sure that you are in 3D modeling workspace. So at first, switch to 3D modeling from this dropdown. And if you're not able to see this dropdown, then go to this gear icon on the bottom of this status bar. And from here, change it to 3D modeling. Now, once you are in 3D modeling workspace, let's start with the line command. You don't need to be concerned about the units. We are taking the default units here. So let's start with line and click at any point in the drawing area. Now make it perfectly vertical and give a length of 150 units and press enter. So here we have a line. Now press enter and press enter again to repeat the line command. Now click at this point and again make an overlapping line of length 50 units and press enter again. Now we need to make another line at an angle of 25 degrees with a length of 120 units. For that, let's type at on command line, then 120 as the length and then type angle sign and angle 25. So this will make a required line and press enter. And here we have the required line. Now press enter again to exit this command and erase this line. The overlapping one, we don't need it now. So now we have made these two things. Now we need to move to the 3D plane. So click on this home icon to switch to Southwest isometric view. And now we need to draw the circles. So I will first start with this Z axis UCS. So go to this coordinates panel and click on this Z axis vector. Now click at this point and track this point and click anywhere on this line and the z-axis is aligned according to this line and all the remaining axis will take their place accordingly. So now move on to the circle command and click at this point and make a circle. So I'll make a circle with radius of 25 units so type 25 and press enter. Once again move your UCS and align it to this line. For that go to the z-axis, click on this point and track it here and make sure that you click at this point. Now once again make a circle at this end point and give it a radius of 18 units. So let's type 18 and press enter. Now we need to extrude these two circles. But before that, go to the surface tab and from here select this extrude. So make sure that you use surface tool for extrusion. Click on the circle, press enter and now click at this point. Now go to extrude command again and click on this circle, press enter and this time click at this intersection point of these two lines and here we have a messed up drawing we need to clean it first for cleaning it go to this visual style and change it to shaded or any other visual style now here we have a clean view of the drawings now we have some changes to make in this geometry so we have made these two things now let's turn them into a 3d solid for that go to home and click on this thicken command on solid editing panel. Now click on the surface, press enter and enter a thickness value of 10 units, press enter. Repeat the process for this one as well. So select the surface, press enter and this time enter a thickness of 12 units and press enter again. So now we have added the thickness. Let's look inside these drawings and here we have this portion which we don't need and also we have here this closed portion that is not required. So we need to trim both of these sections. For trimming we can use slice command but before using slice let's make two surfaces. So go to surface select extrude and click on this internal circle. So when you hover your cursor over this circle, you'll notice on this tooltip, this overlapping square icon. If you're not able to see this overlapping square icon, then go to this status bar and turn this selection cycling on. So make sure this selection cycling is on. So if it is not on, then click on this status bar to turn it on. And now when you move here, you'll see this overlapping icon. If you're not even able to see this selection cycling on the status bar, then click on this customization. And from here, turn on the selection cycling option. Now, once we have this option, click on this circle and you'll see this list from this list, select the circle, press enter, and now make a surface of a random length make it long enough to pass the complete geometry now for slicing this go to this slice command on solid editing panel and now click on this solid because we want to slice this one and now press enter from command line select the surface option and click on this surface and press enter again 
Now the object is sliced and we can selectively erase it. So first erase the surface and then click on this one and now select and erase and here we have it the completely clean geometry but still we have one thing to clean here we have this completely blocked passage which we need to clean for that I'll select this extrude from surface and once again click on this small circle now press enter and make sure that this circle stretches up to the center of this geometry so I'll click at this point the intersection point and here we have it now go to the slice tool on home tab and here we have it select this 3d object press enter go to surface and click the surface which we made here so this is the surface which we made so select this surface and press enter now here we have removed geometry click on the surface erase it and also orbit this geometry click inside this area and now erase it as well and here we have it the completely clean geometry with all the grooves so now we need to add some details on this drawing so first we need to add here another circle go to circle command and on the top of this we need to add a new circle but once again look at the UCS which is not properly aligned so we need to change the UCS first so go to coordinates click on this Z axis vector click at this point the topmost point and drag it completely downwards and here we have it the UCS is now aligned go to circle click on this topmost point and now make a circle with a diameter of 120 units or radius 60 so let's type 60 as the radius and press enter now we need to press pull this geometry so let's select this press pull command click inside this area and now move it downwards to a length of 12 units and press enter and here we have it the geometry now we can copy paste this geometry here as well for that select it go to copy click on this topmost point and now track it along z axis make sure that this is z axis vector is visible so track it downwards and now you can see that here we have the z axis vector and now enter a length of 138 units and press enter and press cancel and here we have this geometry so now it's joined here now we need to make grooves for nuts and bolts for that I'll go to this top view and here I'll make the pitch circle for pitch circle select this one and once again go to this center and you can tilt it a little bit to see it more clearly make sure that you click exactly at this point if you're not able to select this point then turn off this dynamic UCS that will help and now click at this point and make a circle with radius of 50 units and press enter so here we have the circle now we need to make a new line here so select this line click on this topmost point and, and that is the center of the circle and now track it on this direction or you can click on this bottom view also and make a line of random length just make sure that this crosses the pitch circle which we created now select the circle command and click at the intersection point of circle and the line which we created and make another circle with radius of 5 units so type 5 press enter and let's orbit this geometry a little bit and here we have this circle in order to see this more clearly you can change the visual style so I'll change the visual style to hidden so that the geometry can be seen more clearly and now go to array from modify panel and make sure that you select polar array now select the circle press enter and specify the center point of array which is this center point and now enter number of objects as 4 so let's type 4 and press enter make sure that this associative option is unchecked so if it is turned on or it is checked click on it to turn it off like this and then click on close array so now here we have these four grooves and we will erase these helping geometries we don't need these two geometries now so now we'll create grooves here which you can see clearly so before creating grooves let's copy all of these four circles on the bottom side as well so let's select this circle and this circle again and this circle let's select copy command click at this center point make sure that you use the Z axis and here we have the z-axis and enter a length of 150 units press enter 
press enter again to exit this and now you'll be able to see all of these four circles on the other side as well and here it is clearly visible so let's now use press pull tools select press pull and click inside this circle and take it all the way upwards similarly repeat the process for other geometries as well and you can change the visual style to see it more clearly so i'll change it to shade it so that it can be seen more clearly select press pull click inside this geometry click here click inside this geometry click here and click inside this geometry and click here now repeat the process for the object on the top as well so now we have made the grooves and now we can combine all of these objects into a single unit using the union boolean operation for that select this union command select all of these objects and press enter and here we have a single unit here so our drawing is almost complete now we only need to make a final fixture here for creating that one we need to switch to this plane and for switching to that plane i'll again select this z-axis vector so select z-axis vector click on this midpoint and track it to this line and here we have it now click on this bottom view which is the x y view of this geometry and now we will make the object here for that I will start with the circle command so go to circle click at any random point but not on this geometry and make a circle with radius of 40 units press enter now go to this line command click at the center of this circle and make a line so that it intersects the circle like this go to circle again and at the point of intersection make another circle with radius 5.4 units now again at the same center create another circle with radius of 20 units and press enter so now here we have these two circles let's make an array of it so select this polar array select this object and select this one as well and now click at the center point and enter number of objects as three and press enter also make sure that associative is unchecked and click on close array now using the same center here make another circle with a diameter of 40 units for that i'll select the circle command click at the center point and now enter a radius of 20 units and press enter so now we can erase this circle we don't need it and also we can erase this line okay and now we need to join all of these circles with the tangent line for that select this line command then press and hold shift key then right click and select tangent click at the circle press and hold shift key then right click and select tangent and click on this circle now repeat this process for all the remaining circles so here we have this final geometry now let's select this trim command press enter and trim all the remaining objects now we need to make press pull inside this geometry for that i will click on this home icon and select this press pull click inside this geometry and give it a height of 12 units press enter and now press enter again so here we have this final geometry now we need to move this geometry on the top of this for that i'll select this move command so select move select all of these geometries press enter and click on this center point on the top of this geometry now move it exactly at the top of this geometry here and here we have it the final geometry but now we again need to make a small change here before that i'll select this union tool and join it into a single unit so select both of these objects press enter now once again select this press pull tool and click inside this concentric circle and click here and now make sure that it goes downwards and enter a length of eight units and press enter and now here we have it so we can subtract this object and by subtracting we'll be able to create the groove for that select the subtract select this object press enter now select this object which we created and press enter again and here we have this groove so our geometry is almost complete and we only need to make two fillets here so now in order to make the fillet i'll change the visual style to 2d wireframe so that we can see it more clearly as you can see that it's not very clear so i'll change it to now hidden view and that makes it more clear now select this fillet edge 
go to radius and enter a radius of four units and now move to this geometry and click on this small edge here so here we have this radius press enter twice to accept the radius value now rotate this geometry a little bit and apply the fillet value on this side as well for that i'll select the fillet command and i'll go with the same radius of four units so here we have this four unit radius and once again click on this small edge here you can rotate this geometry to apply the fillet on this edge as well so let's apply it on this edge here as well and press enter twice to accept the value and here we have this final geometry so let's change it to shaded view and see it more clearly so this is the final geometry so as you can see that we mostly use rotation of ucs in different directions to make this geometry and i hope that you're now familiar with the use of UCS for creating the drawings. So if you have any questions related to this tutorial, let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, then don't forget to share it. Thanks again for watching.